Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, there was concern the province would axe some stat holidays for retail workers. What's the latest there? Yeah, it was reported last night, uh, Melissa, that the Ford government was considering eliminating all statutory holidays for retail workers except for three, Christmas, Good Friday, and Canada Day. But the premier this afternoon said that ain't going to happen. Premier Ford earlier today said that's not going to happen, Melissa. I think we have the premier here. No, we aren't doing that. I think uh, people should spend time with their families. I think there's nine stat holidays. Uh, as much as you know, the malls would be packed. Everything. I, I just think people need to take a break nine times a, a year, and uh, so it's not happening. So what happened behind the scenes, Melissa? I asked Jerry Diaz. He's the president of Unifor. Uh, he said he got a call from the premier late last night. Have a listen. The premier called me this morning, as well as the minister of labor, saying, "Listen, uh, there's things that somehow slide under the radar screen." Uh, the premier told me that he didn't know about this last night until 20 after 10, and I believe him. Um, if I'm if I'm following his public comments, he's understanding much more today. I will argue, uh, who essential workers are and the importance of their work. I think the premier today probably wouldn't have cancelled the minimum wage going to $15 for these exact workers. Uh, which is the first thing he did when he became premier. So when he tells me he didn't know about it, I believe him. So there you go, Melissa. Obviously, the optics wouldn't be very good right now for the government to take away uh, days off for these retail workers who they have, you know, repeatedly called heroes over the past couple of months. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of retail workers, executives of some major grocery chains are set to testify over cutting premium pay for their workers. Yeah, this is quite big. So the executives from the three biggest grocery chains from Loblaws, from Metro and from Empire that owns uh, Sobeys and Safeway, they have been called uh, before a parliamentary committee and they're going to explain why they cut that $2 per hour COVID pay bump. And they're going to explain as well why they all did it on the exact same day. Some people, including Mr. Dias, who we just heard there, throwing around the word collusion because they all made this decision on the exact same day last week. Uh, Loblaws did say in a statement yesterday that it welcomed the chance to, it said, clarify the facts before the committee. It said that it acted independently. Uh, it contends that stores are now operating at a normal pace, which is why the pay bump is working. So it would be interesting to see uh, what happens in the next couple of weeks when we get uh, the effects of uh, Melissa, you and I are back just a little bit after 6.30. We're going to talk about some really interesting, maybe a little bit offbeat stories, including U.S. President Trump was asked in an interview yesterday if aliens and extraterrestrials exist. And he gave a very interesting answer. We're going to play it to you after 6.30, Melissa. Sounds good. We'll see you then, Richard. Thank you.